exponential functions, growth and decay. Our objective is to write and evaluate exponential expressions to model growth and decay situations. Who uses this? Collectors can use exponential functions to model the value of rare items. This is an exponential function. f of x equals your base to your exponent. So it's a power, and your exponent is your variable. However, b must be greater than 0, but b cannot equal 1. So let's look at the example below. We have f of x equals 2 to the power of x. So when we substitute in negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and for x, these are our outputs. And then you can graph each coordinate, and notice how the graph gets exponentially steeper. So as time goes on, or as your x values increase, your graph increases at a much faster rate. Exponential. Let's look at the difference between growth and decay. So for exponential growth, your b is going to be greater than 1. For exponential decay, your b value is going to be less than 1. Keep in mind, for this to be an exponential function, b had to be greater than 0 for it to even be exponential. So if it's greater than 1, it's a growth. If it's less than 1, it's a decay. Then your a will show you where your y-intercept is. Let's practice. Graphing exponential functions. Tell whether the function shows growth or decay, then graph it. Well, let's look at our function. We have 1.5 to the x. Well, 1.5 is greater than 1, so therefore, when we make our table, and then when we graph it, it's going to show that we have a growth greater than 1. So now let's look at b. We have our a value, but then our b value, so it's 0.8 to the x. Our b value is less than 1. Therefore, it's going to be a decay. And notice how a, our 30, that's where it crosses the y-axis. You can model growth and decay by a constant percent increase or decrease with the following formula. So you have your initial amount. That kind of helps you realize, hey, by the way, that's your starting point. So that's kind of where you go through your y-axis or your y-intercept. And then the number of time periods, which is your t, and then the rate of increase. So is it increasing by 10%, 5%, or is it decreasing by 3%? And then, obviously, your final amount is your output or your solution. So growth, you would add. Decay, you would subtract. Tony purchased a rare 1959 Gibson Les Paul guitar in 2000 for $12,000. Experts estimate that its value will increase by 14% per year. Use a graph to find when the value of the guitar will be $60,000. To do this, let's start by writing a function. So we have f of t, because we're dealing with time here, equals a, and because it is increasing by 14% per year, that's going to be a growth, so 1 plus r to the t. So our starting value is 12,000. Then we have our 1 plus and then our rate is 14%, so that means that's 0 0.14. And 
then we have T. That may look more like a parenthesis there. So now we can graph the function. And when we graph the function, we end up with this. So on your graphing calculator, you can hit the trace button and trace your exponential function until you get to where the y is going to be a little bit more than $60,000. Notice that when it's a little more than $60,000, it's about 12.2 years. So it's about 12 years. So add 12 years to the year 2000. So we start with our year 2000. And then we're going to add our 12 years that we have here. And that gives you the year 2012. Let's try another one. The value of a truck bought new for $28,000 decreases 9.5% each year. Write an exponential function and graph the function. Use the graph to predict when the value will fall to about $5,000. So let's start with our function. So we have f of t equals a, and then it's 1. We're going to do minus r because we're decreasing, so it's a decay. So minus r to the t. So let's put in our information. We've got our starting value of 28,000, and then we have 1 minus our 9.5%, which is 0 0.095 as a decimal. And now we can graph. And when we graph this function, we're going to notice it's a decay. And then on your calculator, you can use that trace button that you have, and then trace your function until you get to where the y is at about 5,000. And when the y is at about 5,000, it's at 17.3. So it will take about 17.3 years, 17.3 years for the value to be about $5,000. And that ends our video lesson on exponential functions, growth, and decay.